Hello everyone, and welcome to American Citizenship. We're here to help you navigate the latest changes in the USCIS process. With the recent update to the Form N-400, immigration officers are now asking applicants a variety of questions, especially focusing on the new, yes or no questions and key vocabulary definitions. This updated interview format can seem overwhelming, but don't worry, American Citizenship is here to assist you. This video will guide you through the types of questions you can expect and provide the practice you need to feel confident and well prepared for your test. Join us on this exciting journey towards American citizenship and let's make your dreams a reality with your channel American Citizenship. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship test. May I please see your federal ID and your USCIS appointment notice? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Let me check these. All right, everything looks good. Please proceed inside the building and head to the screening checkpoint. Thank you. Please remove all your personal items, along with your jacket and shoes, and place them in a plastic bin. Okay. Now, please walk through the metal detector. Everything looks perfect. Your citizenship interview will be on the second floor. Please take the elevator, and someone will assist you with your interview there. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship test. Can I have your USCIS appointment letter and your ID, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me check your information in our system. Okay, fine. I got your information. As a part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. So, 
Now I need to take your picture and skin your fingerprints right here. And it'll just take a few minutes. Could you kindly take a step forward and focus your attention on the camera ahead of you? Sure. Thank you. Now can you please place your left index finger on the scanner? Good. Now your right index finger, please. Okay. Let me check. Everything is perfect. Here are your appointment letter and your ID, and here is your waiting number as well. Please have a seat as we will call your name or your number when your appointment is ready. Thank you. You are most welcome and good luck on your interview. Adalbert Lorenzo Nicholas. That's me. I'm Officer Linda Patricia. I will conduct your citizenship interview today. Nice to meet you. Hi, Officer Linda. Nice to meet you, too. How's your day going so far? Fine, thank you. How about you? Fantastic. Please follow me. Sure. Before we start our interview, I need you to take the oath. Please remain standing and we will do the oath first. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. You can sit now. Thank you. Do you know what kind of promise you just made? Yes, I promise to tell the truth. Have you ever been here before? No, this is my first time here. Very good. Could you please provide your USCIS appointment letter, green card, passport, and federal issued ID? Certainly. Here they are. I should mention that my green card expired three months ago.
Will that be a problem? Is this the 10 year green card you're talking about? Yes, it is. That's not a problem. How long have you been waiting so far? About 15 minutes. How was the traffic on your way here? It was smooth. How long did it take to get here? It took me around 40 minutes. That's wonderful. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. Have you been feeling anxious about this interview at all? Yes, I'm feeling a little anxious. Don't worry. You will be fine. Have you been studying hard for the interview? Yes, I really want to be an American citizen. Do you know how to use a tablet? Yes, I know. All right, now we are going to start our interview. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes. I went to Canada for 10 days after I submitted the N-400 form. Could you please update this for me? We'll review the entire application together, so when we reach that section, please point out the changes. Okay, thank you. Tell me why you are here today. I am here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I want to be an American citizen because I stand by the Constitution and want to take part in the next election by voting. Excellent. Do you know the month in which the next election is scheduled to occur? Yes, it will be in the month of November. Exactly. Now, we will do the English reading and writing test and then the civics test. Let's begin the English reading and writing test. Please read the sentence on the tablet for me. What is one right in the Bill of Rights? That's correct. Now write the sentence on the tablet. Freedom of speech is one right. That's right. You passed the English reading and writing test as well. Now let's move on to the civics questions. Have you studied civics portion? Yes, I studied since I've applied. Which version of the civics test did you study for? I prepared using the 2008 version of the 100 official civics questions. That's the correct version. 
In this portion, I will ask you up to 10 questions, and you need to get 6 correct to pass. Please say the answers loudly for me. First question. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. I apologize, I didn't catch that. Could you please repeat what you said? Sure. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizen 18 and older can vote. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. We elect a president for how many years? Four. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Sorry, that answer is incorrect. Let's try another one. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Good. You got six questions correct and passed the civics test. Now, let's review your N-400 application. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. What is your current legal name? My current legal name is Adalbert Lorenzo Nicholas. What is your first name? Adalbert. Please spell that name. A D A L B E R T. Tell me your last name. My last name is Nicholas. Do you use any other names with your friends or family? No, I don't. Some individuals choose to change their name when they become U.S. citizens. So, would you like to change your name? No, I don't. What is the best phone number to contact you? 503-393-3345 What is your email address? Nicholas at iCloud.com Can you confirm your social security number? 309 736 574 Can I see your card? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. 
Would you like the Social Security Administration to issue a new or replacement Social Security card following your naturalization? Yes, I would. What is your date of birth? July 11, 1993. What is your height? I am 5 feet 7 inches. What is the color of your eyes? Black. What is your racial background? White. What is your country of birth? I was born in Belgium. What is your country of citizenship or nationality? Belgium. Could you please tell me your current marital status, single, married, widowed, or divorced? I am married. Other than your current marriage, how many previous marriages have you had? I have had two marriages. When was your first marriage finalized? April 16, 2019. What is your ex spouse nationality? Canada. Did your divorce take place there? Yes, it did. What is your ex spouse's name? Amelia Lilly. Is she currently living in the U.S.? Yes, she is. Is she a U.S. citizen? No, she is a permanent resident. Do you have your divorce decree with you? Yes, here it is. Do you have any children with your ex-wife? Yes, I have one son with my ex-wife. What's his name? Michael Lorenzo Matthew. Where does he live? He lives with my ex-wife in California. When was he born? June 26, 2019. That means he was born after you're divorced. Yes, you are right. What caused your separation? We realized that we had different life goals and values, and we weren't compatible anymore. I'm sorry you went through that. It must have been a difficult time. Are you providing financial support for your son? Yes, I make monthly payments online. Please show me the documentation. Here it is.
Where was he born? He was born in the U.S. Do you have any other children with your ex-spouse? No, Michael is my only child with my ex-wife. When did you get married to your current spouse? I married my current spouse on January 7, 2021. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? No, she is a lawful permanent resident. Can you provide your current spouse's name and date of birth? Her name is Sofia Fernanda, and her date of birth is October 17, 1997. Does your current spouse live at the same address as you? Yes. Do you have any children with your current spouse? Yes, we have a daughter. Is your daughter biologically related to you? Yes, she is my biological children. What is her name? Her name is Olivia Jane. Where was your daughter born? She was born in the United States. Did you bring her birth certificate? Yes, I did. Can I see that? Sure, here you go. Is your daughter living with you? Yes, both my current spouse and daughter reside with me. What is your current mailing address? 8454 Vine Arbor Street, Houston, Texas, 77033. Do you have a different mailing address? No. The mailing address is the same as my current physical address. So, we will use that mailing address to contact you throughout the naturalization process? Yes. Have you moved in the past three months? Yes, I moved two months ago. What was the reason for your move? I moved to a new area to take advantage of a lower cost of living and better financial stability. When did you move to this address? March 14, 2024. Have you submitted the AR-11 form to update your address with USCIS? No, I didn't. You are required to file the AR-11 form within 10 days of any address change. I will ensure to do that in the future. Your previous address was 7485 Heritage Street, Houston, Texas, 77022, is that correct? Yes, officer, that is correct. Have you lived anywhere else during the past five years? 
No, those are the only two places. Let me update that for you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you, officer. How are you eligible for naturalization? I got my green card for over five years. Who sponsored your green card? My sister. When did she become a U.S. citizen? In 2013. What date did you get your green card? August 1, 2018. According to our records, you've traveled outside the U.S. twice in the past five years. Is that accurate? Yes, officer. How many days in total did you spend outside the U.S.? 23 days. Have you made any other trips since you submitted your citizenship application? Yes, I have previously filled out this section. I need to update my information now. What is that? After submitting my N-400 form I went to Canada for 10 days. Could you provide the exact dates of your entire travel history? I left the U.S. on April 13, 2024, and returned on April 24, 2024. How many trips have you made outside the U.S. in the past five years? I've taken a total of three trips. On my N-400 form. I listed two trips, but it should be updated to three. Can you describe your most recent trip? What was the purpose of your visit to Canada? I visited Canada recently to attend a wedding in Ottawa. It was a family event. The purpose of my visit was to celebrate with my relatives and enjoy the festivities. When did you go? April 13, 2024. Can you remember the date you came back to the United States? Yes, I came back to U.S. on April 24, 2024. All right. Please give me a moment to update them right now. Thank you so much. All right. Do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. What is your occupation? I work as a senior manager of events. Who is your current employer? Coca-Cola. How long have you been working there? Since 1st of March 2019. What other places have you worked at in the last five years? No, that's it. Was one of your parents, including adoptive parents, a U.S. citizen before you turned 18? No. All right. 
Let's move on the next section. Have you ever worked for or been a part of any group, unit, or organization that committed genocide? No, never. What is an organization? A group of people that work together. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. What does misrepresentation mean? To lie. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, never. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No, never. What is prostitution? Someone who sells sex. Have you ever been involved in prostitution or solicited anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Have you ever been involved in genocide, torture, or killing someone for political reasons? No, never. Have you ever advocated for the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military type training? No, never. What is military type training? Learning how to fight in combat. Have you ever been on probation or parole? No. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever been a member of, or involved in, world communism? No. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. What is suffering? Physical or mental pain of a person. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Have you ever helped anyone to enter? or try to enter the United States illegally? No, never. Now I need to ask you some questions about your tax returns. 
Have you filed your tax return for last year? Yes, officer. Do you have a copy of your tax return transcript available? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I have received a traffic ticket. How many traffic tickets have you received, and what were the reasons for each citation? I received one traffic ticket in 2023 for running a red light. What was the fine for that ticket, and how did you resolve it? The fine was $300, which I paid online. Do you bring the traffic document with you? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Any other arrests? No, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. That's not a concern. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, never. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No, never. Between March 23, 1933, and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No, never. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, officer. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, never. Do you know what drafted means? To be selected for military service. Have you ever given any U.S. government official any information or documentation that was false? fraudulent, or misleading? No, never. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or a soldier in a prison or jail? No, officer. What is prison or jail? 
a location where prisoners are detained. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, I haven't. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? No, never. Did you ever use a weapon against another person? No, never. Do you know the meaning of weapon? Like a knife or gun. Have you ever been involved in any way with forcing someone to have any kind of sexual contact or activity? No, never. What is forcing? To pressure someone into doing something they don't want to do. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any sabotage? No, never. What is sabotage? The act of harming or ruining something. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. What is drug paraphernalia? Equipment to make illegal drugs. Do you know what illegal drugs or narcotics means? Like cocaine, heroin. Have you ever married someone to get immigration benefits? Sorry officer, could you clarify your question for me? Did you ever marry so you could get green card? No. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen before? No, never. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No, never. Do you know what communism is? A political system in which the state controls everything. What is a totalitarian party? Government controls everything and people have no power. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. I'm willing to. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means I promise to love my country through both good times and bad times. Do you have any title or nobility in your native country? No. 
Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Good. Please turn on the tablet and review your application as I've made updates to some of the sections. Please review all the information on the tablet to ensure its accuracy. I want you to make sure all of your information is correct and let me know if you find any errors. Everything looks perfect. Please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you've said during the interview and all the evidence that you've submitted is complete and true. Okay. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay. Thank you. Just give me a minute. I need to quickly run a background check and make copies of all your documents. I'll be back shortly. Sure, no problem. After reviewing your background and your application, I'm glad to say that you deserve to be a U.S. citizen. Congratulation! You passed your citizenship interview. Here is a copy of your test result. Thank you, officer. I appreciate you taking the time to review and approve my application. Now we can proceed with administering the oath. Sure, that would be great. Please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. and laws of the United States of America against all enemies. And laws of the United States of America against all enemies. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. 
that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. When required by the law. When required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance. That I will perform work of national importance. Under civilian direction when required by the law. Under civilian direction when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So, help me God. So, help me God. Congratulations. From now you are officially a U.S. citizen. Thank you, officer. I can give you back your paperwork, but I must keep you green card. I will now print your certificate of naturalization. It will take some time to print. Please wait in the waiting area for a short while. Sure. After receiving your certificate of naturalization, be sure to check its accuracy before signing it. And you must sign it using a black ink pen. Okay. Just a couple of other things you need to do. You need to update your social security status and register to vote. Thank you for the reminder. I will update my social security status and register to vote once I complete the citizenship process. If you plan to travel outside the U.S., you can also apply for your passport. Do you have any questions at this stage? No, officer. I don't have any questions. I'm just very happy. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Good luck with everything and have a great day. Let me guide you back to the customer service area.